Hi everyone, today on Talking Thursdays I speak with one of our chef slash catering managers in Scotland at St Leonard's School, Darren. Darren talks to me about his work history and how it all began for him as well as hinting at some exciting upcoming projects. Please have a watch. Yeah, good yourself? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Um, so you have been with Thomas Franks for now over a year and you are the chef slash catering manager at um, St Leonard's School in St Andrews. So could you tell me a bit about your role and kind of what this entails for you on a weekly basis and things like that? Uh, so basically day to day, just coming in, we do we do a breakfast, lunch and dinner service here. Um, and my role is to just oversee all that and make sure that everything's running smoothly and we're doing everything we're meant to do. Um, obviously, with all the training that we've got to do, that's my responsibility, uh, looking after the budgets and liaising with the client and making sure they're happy every day. So um, it seems to be working so far. So, <laughs> so on a day to day basis, how many pupils and staff um, are you normally cooking for? So we're sitting at about six and a half, so seven, yeah, about 650 pupils and about probably 80 staff altogether that come through our dining rooms. Um, at the moment, obviously, we're social distancing, so that's quite spread out over a two-hour period for our lunchtime. Um, we have about 120 boarders that are in for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, so, yeah, so it's quite a busy place. Yeah, it keeps you busy then, yeah. Definitely, definitely. And um, you definitely played your part in uh, feeding communities over the kind of lockdown period. What do you reckon was the best thing you saw during that time? I think when when you're cooking the meals, you know, you're, you're in touch with these people through the internet. So you're emailing each other. And you get to know them when they come and pick up the food. To, but we've done the the big feed mm -hmm. um, on that one we we actually went out me and Kenny um, went out and delivered the food and uh, that was an eye-opener just to see the people there and some of them were suffering some of them were happy but all happy and cheery to see the food arrive and it's, it was quite a, a different atmosphere um, but coming back from that then speaking to my staff that were helping me during that um, it really boosted them a wee bit to know that you know we are making a massive difference. So yeah, that was that was a an eye opener and and good to see in a way because you, you just don't know what's happening out there. No, we're all in like this little bubble, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, it's the same here. You know, you're cooking every day. We were doing doing 500 meals a week, and and uh, yeah, you're in your bubble and you just get on with it. But to actually go and see where it's going and and who's receiving it. It, it makes you think twice about what you're doing and, and how you do it so yeah so going right back to kind of the beginning of your work history um how did you start and get into chefing as it were i think i, I left school um uh, just joined uh catering went to college uh, down in portsmouth done my catering down there um joined the royal fleet auxiliary um, done a year in there, um, but came out, uh, and then after that I was just in contract catering from then on in um, as chef, and then worked my way up in different units with different different uh, companies, and finally to Thomas Franks. So, and that's the best one yet, right? Absolutely, I, I, yeah, definitely. To have free reign with Thomas Franks on the food that we produce, and and a company that's so dedicated with working with local suppliers it's a total different atmosphere from the bigger contract caterers but yeah it's, it's really good yeah i'm enjoying it um so a fun question for you which i ask everyone but um and it's relating to food um if you could have dinner with any three people in the world who would it be with and why and what meal would you have yeah i was i've been watching your videos so <laughs> i've been <laughs> sticking who i could choose i think you know, I would like to I would like to do a road trip with uh, Gino De Campo and Gordon Ramsay and Fred. I'd love to take them around the North Coast 500 in Scotland and just try all the food that's available and and just yeah, that that would be a good time. I think that would be what I'd like to do. 
That's quite a popular answer, but definitely something that I would quite like to do. Yeah, well, when you come up, we'll all do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, so finally, Darren, what would you say is your best memory of Thomas Frank Franks so far? I think, yeah, I think the feeding communities has been a big part of it at the moment. Um, but there's more in the pipeline, so there's lots of other different things we're going to be doing. Um, hopefully a lot more online cooking with the children um, and things like that. So, but yeah, highlight at the moment is, yeah, definitely feeding the communities has been a big thing. Big thing. So you've got your, you've got lots to look forward to then? Yeah, yeah, there's lots in the pipeline. Um, I'm not saying too much and I'm not giving anything away. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's lots of things that are happening. Um, Frank's getting involved with a lot of different projects. So yeah, we're looking forward to them projects coming here. And it's nice that they pick St. Leonard's for some of these. Um, yeah. So we can try our best to showcase what we can do in, in our circumstances at the moment. Um, but I'm sure once this is all done, the virus is away, we can really get back to what we, we're good at doing. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Darren, for talking with me. Thank you, pleasure. And I will hopefully see you soon. Well, I'll catch you later.